When bears in the Great Smoky Mountains lose their fear of people, sometimes they're relocated far outside the park. But then what happens to them? 10 News reporter Jim Matheny shows us a new study that looks to solve that mystery with the help of satellite technology. When we were watching them, it's like, look at this. In the Great Smoky Mountains, wildlife biologist Bill Stiver can track bears that are out of sight with help from GPS collars. This is a bear we have out right now. I can check every few minutes. You can see, I, here, there it is, there's, there's my point. A groundbreaking GPS study published in 2019 tracked how bears move inside the Smokies. Now Stiver wants to take it outside the park. With the five or 10 bears a year that cause so many problems, they have to be relocated to the Cherokee National Forest. Everybody thinks we can just go catch a bear and move it somewhere else and everything is okay, and, and it's not. Stiver says of all the bears relocated in the last few decades, the overwhelming majority are never seen again. 74% of the bears we can't account for. Everybody would like to think they live happily ever after, but my instincts are it's probably not. The 26% that do show up are often roadkill or harvested during hunting season. The rest are a mystery. You know, what we want to know is, one, what happens to these bears? Two, do they cause conflicts where you put them? Three, do they stay there? What's going on? Or are they all dying? Because if they're all dying, maybe we need to, you know, is it humane to move a bear that's going to be dead in three months? I, I don't know. This research isn't cheap, but now a $400,000 grant will pay for three years of research to track bears relocated from the Smokies, as well as Shenandoah National Park. And Stiver says this could redefine what it means to put bears out of sight and the importance of keeping good trash habits in mind. We need to be more responsible with our food and garbage so we don't have to move these animals. In the Great Smoky Mountains, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News.